What's good, YouTube? This is Admin Umbra, back for another episode of Rocket Daily. Uh, Jordan, of course, actually, no, today's shit's not with me. But, however, nonetheless, my good old Rocketeers, we have an exciting, wonderful, stupendous battle for you for this episode of Rocket Daily. This battle came from the stream, one of the amazing, beautiful battles you beautiful, wonderful people gave me uh, in the stream. So, if you are looking for battles and you haven't already, please follow us on Twitter. It's at the Rocket HQ. Link is in the description. I'm very, very actively looking for battles. If you want to tweet, uh, if you want to battle me, Admin Umbra, please tweet at that. I will be looking for battles all the time. Um, I'm also tweeting out when I'm looking for battles. So if you want to battle me, pay attention to that. Also, you'll see when our streams are, and the streams are the other amazing place to battle me. Shade and I are both battling in the streams. Twice as much battle goodness. Um, and I'm always down to battle. I had so, I battled so much today. It was fantastic. Um, so you're going to see lots and lots of content coming from me here at Rocket HQ to tide you over until we stream uh, next Monday, going to be at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, follow us on Twitter for more info on that. So, getting right into the team. This is another one of those grand old cereal box teams. Took six random pokes and made a bunch of new ones. Wanted to try them out. Uh, we got Machamp over there. This is actually a choice scarf from Machamp I've been trying out. I actually carry his guts because I wanted to be cool and see if I can get people uh, to actually stash me because they don't predict it. Um, so, I've actually got Ice Punch, I think Fire Punch, Bullet Punch, and Close Combat Choice Scarf. I have my lead, yes, my lead Crocodile, getting Crobat some rest. I love this Crocodile, and the game, I'm using cool leads, like the game should give me some, some slack. But, Crocodile, I've got Max Speed, Max HP, Earthquake Toxic, great combination, because I can, you know, hit things that are immune to Toxic with Earthquake. Uh, this variant, I have two variants, one has Pursuit, one has Knock Off, this one has Pursuit. Um, so, what did I say, yeah, Taunt, Pursuit, Earthquake Toxic, that's the lead set. Good old Chansey still here in them streets, doing his Cleric thing. Uh, mainly because, um, even though I do have the, the guts with champ, I, I did just count those two together, and I really wanted to protect Crocodile and um, Scizor from status. They both really, really can't have it, so uh, that's why I bought Chansey. Um, Scizor, you will Scizor's supplies. I'll let you see Scizor uh, in a sec. This is the same Slowbo you saw in the last video. Good old Slowbo is back again, the Iron Defense variant. Um, again, since recording these battles, I have changed it to a generator over Ob Oblivious. Uh, I find that no one really carries taunt or gets himself in a position to taunt it to stop its reign of terror. Uh, and let me tell you, this slow bro, this is exactly how this slow bro is supposed to work. You see it in glorious, glorious action today in this episode of Rocket Daily. Um, this variant is the Oblivious set. If you go to the Rocket Google Drive and you want to copy and paste and use this team immediately in your showdown, you can do that. I've changed it to a generator for you beautiful people. Uh, and then we got the Gengar kind of standard set. So look at his team. The Mawile, Why? Why does every battle I have have to have one of my two least favorite Pokemon to fight in it at all times? Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this battle. I'm looking at his team for leads. Um, I thought, I was kind of hoping the Mamoswine lead would come in. It, it's obviously a pretty standard lead. Although he does have two possible, three possible things, honestly, with Stealth Rocks, but no one uses Mile Mile that way. Um, so I really thought that Mamoswine would lead. Uh, let's go ahead and get it popping. Let's get this battle popping, though. No, uh, no, 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 no. And thanks again for joining us for this very special episode of Rocket Daily. Hope you all enjoy this OU battle, customary of Admin Umbra. So, he actually leads with the Rotom. Um, and, you know, it's an opening battle. I don't really want to overpredict. I did lead with my nice and powerful Doctor Who reference, uh, Jack Hart and this champ. Um, I don't really want to deal with Will-O-Wisp. Um, I don't know if he predicted, but I'm really afraid of taking unnecessary Vault Switch damage on the champ. When I have the obvious chance that I can just eat up anything this Rotom wants to throw. Um, I am a little hesitant because the Vault Switch is obvious, and that gives my opponent a uh, very, very powerful uh, offensive initiative from the get-go. Um, but I do go ahead and go in the chance. See, I see the Mammoth Swine come out and I'm thinking, okay, I can definitely take uh, any one hit from this thing. Uh, so let's try and get a Toxic off, break any Focus Sash you could have. Uh, let's see, uh, again, with the Mammoth Swine, very similar to Azumel in the last video, we need to assess the set, y'all. We need to know what we're dealing with. Um, there we go, King's Rock, that's what we're dealing with. Um, King's Rock is what we're dealing with. Um, so that's good to know, that's amazing information, that this thing does not have a Focus Sash. Um, so now I'm like, alright, let's just get Chansey at full health. Since this thing does not have a Focus Sash, I have plenty of things I can one-shot this. Mammoth Swan, oh, it's going to be beautiful when it happens. So I can go ahead and get out of here. Um, I don't need to worry about toxicing or seismic tossing to break that stash. So I go into Slowbro, because Slowbro is about to go on a reign of terror on this person's team. This is exactly how this Slowbro is set up to, to work, and it is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you see that Earthquake does a pretty decent amount. Um, goes into Gyarados, so I'm like, sir, I know the problems with Gyarados. You don't have Crunch. You have Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Fang. Uh, intimidate. I don't care about that. So I went for the uh, the iron defense on the switch. So keep in mind we are max HP, max special defense calm because we can boost our defense so high uh, to make ourselves an all-around wall. So immediately he sees we're going to be a problem. So he goes into his Dragonite because actually his Dragonite is carrying Thunder Punch. He switches out. I get to put up another iron defense. We are at plus, uh, so that's plus four right now with this with this low bro. Plus 
4 defense Lobo. He goes for a Thunder Punch. This is a Dragonite. This is a Dragonite. I think this is honestly a choice band of Dragonite too. Look at that. <laughs> Look how little that does. Rocky Helmet damage. Get out of here. Um, plus 6. Plus 6. This is exactly how this Lobo is meant to work. If someone does not bring things to get rid of it, uh, it is a problem. Uh, you can absolutely destroy someone's team. So obviously I'm able to lift the next Thunder Punch. He's taking tons of Rocky Helmet damage. That's why I run the Rocky Helmet on this variant. Um, if you if you run this Pokemon with a Toxic Spike support or Stealth Rocks, it's even more powerful because uh, it can stall even more effectively. Uh, so this Slowbro, <laughs> Slowbro is about to wreck a team. Like this, I love this Slowbro set. I love Sleep Talkers in general. Uh, this one is no exception. Sum up plus, plus six, full health. Uh, I'm like, you're gonna go for a Volt Switch, but I am max HP, max special defense. So, look how well I take that. Like, that is, that is pretty good. Um, especially because you don't see too many Rotoms running Thunderbolt or things that allow them to hit me twice in a row. He's being forced to switch out. Um, interesting that my opponent switched into Dawn Fan. They could be carrying the Seed Bomb. Um, most people would expect you to carry Scald, so a Dawn Fan switch is kind of very inappropriate, but, um, I'm actually carrying Psyshock to try and catch people off guard. So that switch actually works to my opponent's advantage because of the size shock. Also, if they're carrying Sturdy, I, I'm able to break their Sturdy there. So my opponent goes back into Rotom, uh, simply trying to team me up with another one. I go for another size shock, of course, seeing how much this will do to the Rotom. Um, and I'm not able to do too much to it with lefties, um, but the bigger point is that my opponent cannot get through Slowbro. Like, there's nothing that my opponent can really do. Um, and this is one of those reasons it's so it's so wonderful to one creative sets. Uh, on my opponent's side, this Rotom had uh, Shade and I have one of them with Charge and Thunder, Thunderbolt before. Uh, they could be breaking through this wall because they have the two hits. So, goes into the Gyarados. Again, you don't have Crunch. You are not going to be smashing through. Um, you're an offensive variant, just like Gen 5, with, um, except we're running the Intimidate over Moxie. And you're running Dragon Dance, probably. I don't know who you think you are, Gyarados, <laughs> but none of those are super effective. I resist all of them. I don't care if you get to plus six on this slow bro. You are not invested in defense. I have Psyshock. This slow bro is going on the slowest sweep in the known history of man. Um, I am, I love walls like this. I'm a huge fan of these type of sets with the boost and the one attack. Um, and if you use a set like this slow bro, you just need to realize, like, look at your opponent's team, look at slow bro and realize what stops it. Uh, and when those things have been taken out, if there's anything, you know it's an appropriate time to set up. I looked at my opponent's team and they realized they didn't really didn't have anything for slow bro. So I went ahead and set up really early in the game because they didn't have anything to stop me from doing so. Um, and so yeah, I'm just going for these side shocks. I'm getting really lucky with my sleep talks. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't care how high Gyarados' attack gets. It's not going to bust through. It tries to go for Stone Edge getting crits to break through the plus six. Doesn't matter. You are not going to touch. You also have Life Orbs here taking so much recoil. Side shock. Look at this set. Please, I encourage all you Rocketeers, use this slow bro. Send me the video. It is nice and powerful. You just watch the slow bro slowly strangle the life out of a Gyarados. In comes the Mawile, and I'm like, this is it. This is it. Mega Mawile, my least favorite Pokemon. Moment of truth. We're going to see how amazing, amazing the slow bro is. I'm set up. This is a beautiful moment. You can write this down in history books. I'm ready to go. I'm at plus six. I'm going to eat this player up off. There's nothing this Mega Mawile can do to me. He goes for his swords dance. I'm like, do all you want. I am not afraid of you. Do all you want to do. Go for this side shock. You have bad defenses. Mm, let me hit you up with this right quick. And mm, uh, I'm like, oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm just like, oh, no, I'm going to lose. I'm about to get just swept. My least favorite thing in the world is in front of me. But luckily, I got that Crocodile, though. I go into, this is why I love this lead Crocodile. Um, so I get the Intimidate. And I'm going to change the EVs for all of you. Um, I have a lot of HP investment. I'm going to put a few more attack in because this, like, all, like, this is great how well I take this, you know, with a, a boosted Mawile. Obviously, I was just the hit. Um, my opponent went for Sucker Punch because we both thought that this Earthquake would one-shot. It doesn't because I don't have very much attack investment at all. Um, I'm going to up the attack investment to make that a guaranteed one-hit KO. So when you use this team, um, that will be fixed. That was an oversight when I made this Pokemon. Um, I didn't realize it could one-hit KO Mawile. And I went for the Pursuit because I thought maybe they'd want to save Mawile. And, and I'd be like, oh, I get to show off Pursuit in this video. It's going to be great on YouTube. Everyone's going to love it. But I get embarrassed, and he stays in, and I do not kill because he resists. I'm just like, oh, Lord, Crocodile, what are we doing? This is your debut. This is not going well. Um, luckily, I have Scizor anticipating a Sucker Punch again because I will kill him. Actually, goes for Protect. That's fine. I got that Bullet Punch. And now I'm about to show you this beautiful Scizor. We have a lot of really cool creative Pokemon on this team. A lot of sets I'm really a huge fan of. 
Um, because you can just do awesome stuff. It makes Pokemon fantastic. And, sir, I already know you don't have a Focus Sash. And I did the Calc. And I've got some news for you. I can take an Earthquake. I can take an Icicle Crash. And guess what I'm about to go for? Not the Swords Dance, he said. That is incorrect. Not the Swords Dance. The Focus Energy! You remember the Nita King from last episode, ladies and gentlemen. We have a Scope, Lens, Focus Energy, Scizor, Critical Hit, Bullet Punches, Bap, Get Out. You're done. Sit down. I love it. I love it. I think Focus Energy might be my favorite attack in the game. Everything that gets it, I have, a, I have, a, I have like, a set that wants it. <laughs> like, I just love it. Uh, and just like last video, I get so carried away. I'm like, we can do it. I can live in extreme speed. I resist it. Let's go for this bullet punch. We're going to kill the Dragonite. We're going to sweep. We're going to sweep. I go for this bullet punch. <clears throat> and it's not bad, but I mean, like, come on. <laughs> like, you know, it's not terrible, but I'm a little disappointed that Sizzle didn't get to go on a full-fledged sweep right there. So now I'm like, you're banded, sir. I already know. You're going for this extreme speed. Right, quick. Let me lock you into that with my Gengar. Uh, and I'm like, all right, let's go for a Shadow Ball. Uh, damage is damage. Um, I could have easily gone for a sub. I do end up going for a Shadow Ball. Still, he's broken on this Dawn Fan. Not that it matters, because Shadow Ball is going to be a nice and clean 2 KO. Um, hitting him with the Shadow Ball. Nice. Um, now I go for a sub. Thinking that Sea Bomb won't break me. I can't get hit with Earthquake. I don't know if he predicted a switch, if that was a misclick. If he uh, didn't realize that I couldn't be the Mega uh, because of Smogon, I'm not sure there. Um, but now I do have a sub out, but it doesn't really matter because the Ice Shirt is able to break my sub, which I was kind of disappointed by. But I do think the EVs on this King Guard need to stay where they are. You need as much offensive power as possible. So I just I go in for a Shadow Ball. I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to uh, to stay behind the sub. So now the Dragonite's going to come back in, I'm pretty sure. Or does the Rotom come back in? We've got Rotom and Dragonite left. Um, let's see. Out comes the Rotom. And I'm like, alright, you can try and Willow Whist me. You're going to try and Hydro Pump me. Whatever you're going to do, I'm going to go for a sub. Uh, because the ultimate goal here is to disable your Hydro Pump. This is, in fact, a sub disable. Just for that pain spin, I'm like, haha, behind the sub, can't hit me. So now I go for a Shadow Ball, anticipating the Hydro Pump, um, so I can then disable it. Um, and because, you know, this, this is kind of a weird strategy, because this is a Volt Switch Hydro Pump modem. I'm not sure if I should have really disabled the Hydro Pump, uh, because it could miss, or if I should have disabled, tried to disable the Volt Switch. Um, because by forcing this modem to Volt Switch here, by going for this, uh, this disable next turn, um... You know, I, I am losing, like, any special defense drops I might be getting. Um, but that is my game plan. I don't think I was as conscious of, of how much damage that Volt Switch would still be doing. Because uh, generally we don't think of it as an offensive threat. We think of it as a utility move. But on Woden with such high special attack, it's it's a decent threat. Um, so I went for the Disable because I was like, there's no way they'll go for Pain Split. Look how even our health is. But they must have predicted me going for the Shadow Ball. So they actually go for the Pain Split, which is fine because our health is dead even. So it really has no effect whatsoever. I'm like, alright, 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 so now I can't hide your pump, so let's go for a sub. Now I'm just being a noodle, because, like, well, now they're just going to Vault Switch. Like, it's painfully obvious they're going to Vault Switch. Oh, and excuse me, they actually go for the Willow, which is perfect. That would be my plan, ladies and gentlemen. That is the plan. Uh, but now the Vault Switch is painfully obvious, because I am behind a sub, and they need to break it, and the only attack is Vault Switch. So even if I do get special defense drops, like, I'm just wasting them. Um, so I'm just trying to slowly wear down this Rotom. Uh, I have almost my entire squad left at this point. Um... And this, uh, all that they have left is Rotom and Dragonite. So I'm not worried at all. I know Gengar can easily take both of them down. I just have to play carefully. So, gonna go into, gonna go into Dragonite. I am faster. You know, the Shadow Ball is gonna be an easy, easy KO. I actually carry Dazzling Gleam, by the way. Um, I've started carrying Dazzling Gleam over Focus Blast because I'm just so uncomfortable with the Focus Blast, uh, missing. And honestly, in my play style, I haven't noticed any real deficits from not having Focus Blast. I tend to cover my weakness. But I personally prefer the Dazzling Gleam. So this Gengar and the Google Drive, if you want to edit this team, if you want to use it immediately, right now, today, you feel inspired, you want to use this team, I uh, know my Gengar carries Dazzling Gleam. Uh, so from here, I'm like, all right, let's send it up our sub again. Um, and again, I, I really wouldn't recommend this strategy because now Vault Switch is just like 100% accurate, you know, Thunderbolt, essentially. Um, and so I'm like, oh, that's right, they have two attacks. I can't really do this strategy anymore. So I need to just sort of start going for Shadow Balls. Um, to try and kill. Obviously, I've got my whole squad in back, so the game is basically over at this point. Um, just a formality of killing the Rotom. Um, so I go for another Shadow Ball, just to get some damage off. Uh, and they do actually decide to go for Volt Switch, playing it safe, um, which is a mistake because even though Gengar is frail, it's got decent, it's got higher special defense. It can take that um, from an uninvested Rotom. It can definitely take a Volt Switch from that level of health. Uh, so now, obviously, it's in the red. I can just go for one last Shadow Ball, finish it off. What a great game! Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Um, if you send me your information, I will definitely link you. Um, this is from the stream. 
Um, and we had, we had, I battled all day in the stream. It was absolutely amazing. But this could be you. Um, this could easily be you. Follow us on Twitter. I'm always tweeting, looking for battles. You could easily get a battle with me. I'm always down to battle you wonderful people. I would love to absolutely do that. Uh, if you follow us on Twitter, you also see when we are streaming. Our next stream will be this upcoming Monday at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Follow us for that as well. Uh, and again, we're going to be doing nothing but battles. So if you want to battle us, please reach out. If you have an amazing battle, uh, we'd be happy to showcase it. Um, just send us the, the battle code and we will be happy to do a viewer submission. Uh, if we find ourselves battling you multiple times, you can even do a dual commentary. Uh, you can commentate the video with us. That'd be really cool. Uh, and also, if you're an artist, you know, or if you're interested in art, don't forget to check out. We do lots of stuff here at Rocket HQ. Don't be sleeping on that Pokemon Renaissance. Send us your art. Send us a message. We are more than happy to work with you. Uh, and we'd love if you checked out the art that we're doing here. Um, we're hoping that Pokemon can be a way that we can all improve ourselves and change the world. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Admin Umbra. This has been another episode of Rocket Daily. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, Rocketeers.